Hello! Lovely, 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 lovely loves. And welcome back to a wee bit of the Hollow Knight. We're already on the move! I'm dying. <laughs> As we do, I'm actually in the green path because there's this gauntlet here. This bloody gauntlet, which is so difficult! You've got to learn how to bounce on enemies to get to make this work. You've also got to avoid all of these bleeding spikes and whatnot. This is a pain. It's so difficult. It's one of those areas where you've got to keep on the move, like, all the time. Ah. Fortunately, there are halfway points. It's much easier to do with the double jump. I will say that. I tried it earlier on, and that didn't work. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, as you can see, I've already died here, so that went well. Yay! There's my Dark Soul uh, TM reabsorbed. Look at that! Look at this! This is mad! Right, I'm going to open the bloody shortcut before I do anything. The shortcut must be opened. Just to give our wee little Hollow Knight a bit of a rest. I mean, he's only got little legs. He, uh, he must get tired of all this. That said, I still, I still don't know about him, you know, about his or her nature. I don't know. There's something very suspicious about this little guy. Very suspicious. There's something very dark about them, to my way of thinking. Whee! I love that move so much. It's one of my favourite in the game thus far. It's so satisfying just to do. Uh, yeah, he, he is the sort of like the footstep of doom thing about the character, isn't there? He seems to bring misfortune wherever he goes, which is just like the characters in Dark Souls, you know, it's exactly the same thing. Um, or like Jean-Baptiste Granoui in um, Patrick Suskind's Perfume, Story of a Murderer. There is that feeling about them. Now the rancid egg, yay! God, this game is so much fun, especially uh, played against, like, really, really dark and horrible games, which is exactly what I'm doing at the moment. Okay, how do we get through there, then? We're going to have to... Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, there we go. That worked. Oh. Oh, okay. It's giving us a bench. Why is it giving us a bench? I'm not sure I'm happy. Oh, hello! Hey, it's another one of these guys, and he's painting. <laughs> Hello! A visitor! Why have you crept in here, little grub? Perhaps like me, you have a taste for discovering new things! Maybe I do, Nail Master Shio. I like you. Very much. I am Shio, and in a previous life I was a Nail Master. Yes, the only thing that drove me was becoming stronger and honing my skills with a nail. I imagined it was my one calling in life, but the feeling faded over time. Now I seek a new calling, something that speaks to my soul and compels me forward. Painting, yeah? <laughs> That's why I spend my time here, secluded, trying to master the art of creation. Painting, sculpting, these things bring a different kind of pleasure. I've no doubt. Mmm, you don't seem very moved by what I've said. Was it Shio the Nail Master you were looking for? Did you come to learn a nail art? I'll teach you if you insist. Yeah! Why not? Well, yeah. Why would you not? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. That's so cool. That's so cool. The Great Slash. Mmm. Release the button without... Okay. Ah, right, okay. Very cool. So it's just a really big attack, yeah? Like a charge attack. So, my work does it move you? Mmm. Move. The wielding of the nail, the wielding of a brush. These things are not so different. I'll take your word for it, Shio. You're friendly, aren't you? We cut into the world so that we can peer deeper inside. Mm, okay. Taking a mortician's approach to things. For now, though, I have nothing more to teach you. Your path forwards, only you can see it. Good luck. Thank you, Shio. You have been most helpful. Thank you so much. Well, the nail art you've learnt, the cyclone slash, that was always Mato's favourite. Yes, we met Mato. It must have made him ecstatic to have a pupil like you. He always wanted to pass down what he'd learnt to a new generation. He was not the most skilled pupil himself, but his enthusiasm and his kindness set him apart. I'm glad he achieved for what he desired for so long, to be a teacher. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. God I've spared brushes, spare brushes and plenty of paint. Once you tire of the nail, feel free to join me in my art. Oh, you're nice. I like you. You're a friendly gentleman. Mind you, all of these nail masters are. The other one, uh, Mato was too. 
I wonder if... Oh, but I wonder. If we come back here, will something awful happen to him? I hope not. I ho I sincerely hope not. I like these guys too much. <laughs> god, that double jump is so useful. I, in lots of different ways. Oh my god. Uh, very pleased I don't have to go back through that. I tried doing that gauntlet earlier, and it is possible to do earlier. In fact, you can do that gauntlet really early and get the, um, the, 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 the great slash, which would be very, very helpful, but... Oh my god, it's so difficult. It's so difficult! Right then, where are we going? I can't quite remember. There must be a... Where, what are we doing? What are we up to? Hmm, I'm sure there's plenty of things we could be doing. Let's get on with our journey, shall we? Not that way. Would help if we don't keep heading towards the dead ends, wouldn't it? <laughs> God, Hollow Nest is massive. It's a really huge world. Even for a Metroidvania, it's... That went well. Even for a Metroidvania, it's massive. Um, it's, it's so much bigger than most Metroidvania games. I imagine that's simply due to the, the fact that it's on the PS4, it's on the, the current gen consoles, you know? They can handle the bigger worlds. Ow! That went well too. Oh, that's so nice! It's, it's so nice to know I can I can swim in the acid now. Oh, you you are a right pain in the arse, aren't you? Yes, you. I'm talking about you. And we didn't kill him right off. That's a surprise. Oh, and another one. There's a little one. Ah! Bloody hell. <laughs> I do like that great slash. That's brilliant. Righty ho. There must be stuff to do around here. Hello. They're so funny, these little things. They are the Hallow Nest equivalent of bumblebees, aren't they? You know. So absurd. Such ridiculous creatures. That's what I like about bumblebees more than anything, the fact they are absolutely ridiculous. Whoa! Okay. Where are we going, anyway? Ah! That's nice. Hang on, the stone... what's it called? The stone temple thing is down here, isn't it? And there was a statue, the stone sanctuary, there was a statue in there. So that should be awake now that we've got the, um, the dream nail. That should be awake now, there should be a ghost to fight. Which could be fun. Let's go and have a look. Hello you! Skinny jumping dude. Skinny or rotund, naught matters to the Hollow Knight. He will slash you all to ribbons. Actually, if there is a ghost in here, it should be quite difficult because there are spikes everywhere in here. Yeah. Yeah. Down here. The stone head. There should be... Yes! Who are you? My child, can you still see? Please don't hurt me. No eyes. Ooh. That's kind of creepy. Can't sleep with your eyes open, little one. Can't dream if you're still breathing, little one. Ooh. Precious children, you speak such loathsome things as you sleep. Your claws scratch and scrape. Ooh. Precious children, a monster is come for us in the dark. Will you sing for me? Challenge the warrior. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Oh, that's creepy. That's genuinely creepy. It's like a lullaby. Or a nursery rhyme. Oh. So there's a maternal aspect to this one. That's that's even creepier. Quite difficult, actually. Quite tricky. I like this a lot. The ghosts are very strange, aren't they? What are they the ghosts of, one has to wonder. God, that's tricky. Getting it before it teleports is really hard. And, of course, avoiding the, uh, yeah, the ghosts. Oh, creepy, creepy, creepy. Ah, oh, this is not going well. Ow! Oh, well. 
let's get back there and we will deal with that. There we go. Hello. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah, we know. We've seen this. Precious children, a monster has come for us in the dark. Will you sing for me? Blah, 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 blah. blah. Yes. Okay, let's try. This is... Thus, I mean, I loved Gorb. Gorb was great because he was amusing. This one's creepy. And here was me hoping to have some relief from, like, the horror of Visage and whatnot. Oof. Whoop. Ow! Crap. Actually, now that I think about it, there is a kind of simple system to this. If you stay down here and you wait for it to appear, you should be able to deal with it without putting yourself in danger, shouldn't you? Ooh, yeah, you are. You are a creepy, creepy creature. Hang on, it's not turning up. I think it's cottoned on. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to have to go hunting it. Yeah, it's not appearing down here anymore, so I've got to uh, actively go and kill it. Which is slightly frustrating, because of course that puts us in danger. Whoa, and there are more ghosts now. Oh, good shot. Good shot. I hope this one doesn't take as many hits as the others, because otherwise it's going to be really difficult. Gotcha. Excellent. And again, yes. It looks like a lot of creatures have died at the hands of this cre of this ghost. Ow. Well, this is going well. I mean, technically, they're all ghosts, aren't they? The, um... These, um... Warrior souls. But for some reason, this one seems to have really bought into the aspect. Ow. Missed. God damn it. What a creepy, 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 creepy creature this is. I mean, I'm gonna have to go and do all of the, the uh, dreaming versions of the bosses, you know. Um, they're very hard. I've tried some of them. The dreaming versions of the bosses are basically upgraded versions of what they were. The one, um, what was the one in the, um, the magician one? That is a nightmare. Oh! Oh god, that even did sort of the creepy, like, old Japanese ghost thing of, like, Grrr. One by one, their eyes closed at last. I felt it, a warm stillness falling over us. Mmm. I'm sorry I was frightened of you. You were always protecting us, even when we couldn't see you. Take us there, please. A place where light cannot haunt us. A place without dreams, please. Oh, that's interesting. What does that mean? A place without dreams? Oh, I wonder how many more of these there are. Face car from stone. Yeah, we know. I wonder how many of these there are knocking about the world. And we've faced quite a few of them now. Quite a few. All of them quite remarkably interesting. I like the fact they're not like a standard template either. Each one of the ghosts is a character. Um, you know... <laughs> God. <laughs> Demonstrating fantastic skill and competence here. <laughs> right. Where is there to go? Plenty of places. Ah, a nice dip in the acid. Okay, we could go to Fog Canyon. There's lots to do down there. I suppose. Oh, I love these creatures. The sort of strider-like things. They're very cool. They remind me a little bit of the big, um, the big transport creatures from, um, uh, the, one of the Elder Scrolls games. Can't remember which one they're in now. But they're sort of like big tripod entities that you ride the backs of to get from one area to another. Morrowind. It's from Morrowind. Which is still, I, for my money, the best of the Elder Scrolls games. Um, oh, Hmm, okay. 
Okay, actually, there. ouch, thank you. There is an area through here we haven't been. I don't know whether we can get there yet. Might be worth exploring, though. God, I'm going to die if I'm not careful. <laughs> I've been hit way too many times. Like, way too many. Hello! They're just minding their business. They're not doing anything. That said, I probably am going to kill him. Or try, anyway. Because I need his soul... Oh, he just sinks into the acid. Ugh. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, there's a way through here. Mm, intriguing. He intriguing. We have been through here before because there's a caterpillar up there. There was a caterpillar up there. Not anymore. Hello. These guys are infected with the disease. They've got the, the orange eyes. So whatever the the madness of Hallow Nest is, they've got it. Doesn't seem to bother them too much though, does it? Be it fungal, be it, um, you know, be it metaphysical, they've certainly got it. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, that was you, right, okay. I mean, there was a clearly a way of coming through here earlier as well, because you could have bounced on the backs of these things to get across. But this is far easier, <laughs> has to be said. God, they're hardy, aren't they? They take a lot of killing. Ooh. What's that noise? Oh, it's you. Okay, that's fine. God, the, I, I, I comment on it every time we come through here, but the music in this area is sublime. It's absolutely sublime. It's beautiful. I've got to say, this is, this is one of the best video game soundtracks I've heard for a long time. A long, long time. Oh, it's one of those... Oh, okay. Though once our lands... Are, uh, through once our lands, a pale being lays claim to the caverns ahead. Okay, we've read that before. We've read that one before. But there's no... We have to come through the other way. That's interesting. So there's obviously another way in from maybe another... Another area of the map. That would be my guess. Not sure from where, though. Yes, I am going to have to do the dream bosses at one point. They're really difficult. Like, really hard. Like, bloodborne levels of difficult. Um, so that's going to be fun. Is it not? I mean, we could just... No, we're not going to leave that one here. We're going to kill it. So there. We've also got to do the three... The, the, the three um, dreaming ghosts as well. The ones that are... I don't know, maintaining whatever seal is on Hallow Nest and holding it in place in its current state. I mean, I'm not sure whether it's a good idea doing what we're doing, you know? Because I have a funny feeling when we've succeeded, Hallow Nest is going to look very, very different. Assuming it's, it still exists at all, you know? It doesn't necessarily have to. Maybe the world will move on. Once we're done. And not before time, really. I mean, it looks like it's been in stasis for a very long time. Hmm... I could wander this world just for fun. It's got the feeling of like... Um, I mean, I mentioned the Elder Scrolls earlier. Part of the joy of those games is just wandering, doing nothing. That's it. Following the story is often a bad idea because very often the, the mainstream stories aren't that great. Unless you're playing Fallout New Vegas, of course, which is fantastic. From, which was by Obsidian and not by Bethesda. Um... Very often the main story arcs are a bit naff, you know, they're just not very good. But the entertainment that you make yourself from the world that's provided, wow, that went well. Whoa. I'm glad there's not, like, a, a ton of people who could potentially watch that. Um, when you make your own 
entertainment from those worlds when you just sort of drink in the ethos of them. Just wander around doing nothing, really, or just doing whatever takes your fancy. That's the joy of them. That's where you get the joy. And you could do that with this world as well. You could just walk around it for the aesthetics and for the fun of it. Because it's gorgeous. It is sincerely beautiful, Hallow Nest. Who was it? I was, talk I was talking to somebody on one of my podcasts recently. Um, and uh, I mentioned the, the name of Hallow Nest. Um, I think it was Adam. It was Adam uh, for my, my compadre from the Fluff and Hammer. Um, we were talking about this game. And he really liked the name Hallow Nest. It's so evocative, isn't it? It's beautiful, actually. It's a really beautiful name for a place or for a world. You ever go mound? We've been through here, haven't we? Yeah, we've been through here. I don't think there's anything in here that we need to do. Oh, frick. I'm doing very well. <laughs> I'm not. I'm really not. Excuse me. Ah, it's been a long, long period. I'm very tired. I'm very, very tired. <laughs> I've been at work all night, like all night, so I'm um, I'm sitting and recording this in post because I'm too tired to actually sit and record um, whilst I'm playing. I don't think I can concentrate. Oh, these things, there, there is going to be a way eventually, I'm sure, of dispersing them. It just, you can tell there is. It's just, um, hang on. It's that was my phone, by the way. It's just uh, there is a way of getting round them. There is a way of getting round them. There are like alternative ways of maneuvering around the damn things. Yep. Maybe we'll even learn a way of killing them. The electric bugs. That'd be nice. That would be very nice. Oh, I love these things. Oh, and then I went and killed myself. Brilliant. Brilliant. Can I, can I, uh, dream? Ah, lost. Oh, that's very sad. Lost. There's such an air of melancholy in this game. But it doesn't start to become apparent until, like, a certain ways in. And I, I find that very clever. I find that very clever. Because it starts out quite cute. The game starts out quite sweet, and it feels like it's going to be reasonably light. And then you get the drip feed of darkness. It just starts to build and build and build and build, to the point where by now... I'd say it, it sincerely qualifies as a horror game of a certain type. It's not disturbing or distressing in an overt or conventional way. But it's definitely there. It's almost like a subtext of disturbance that runs underneath. It's what is implied about Hallow Nest and about... Oh, hello. Oh, this is new. It's like a garden of some description. Hmm. This is pretty. Mm. Oh, the Queen's Guard. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're a lethal bugger, aren't you? The Queen's Gardens. Oh, he's, he explodes into spikes, that guy. Woo. Quite dangerous. Another beautiful piece of music. Woo. I wonder, will we eventually, like, meet the Queen of Hallow Nest, then? I know we're going to meet the King, because he's been spoken about too much. Or uh, maybe even the Ghost of the King, or something like that. Um, the Echo of the King. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Whoa! Gotta, gotta be careful of them. Those spikes are bleeding lethal. Oh, no, we can't even touch the corpse. What's that beating? Oh, it's one of the, the eggs, isn't it? Where could it be? It's here somewhere. Whoa! Ooh, there's gonna be lots of traps involving them. I can tell you. Look at this! Look at a greenhouse! Look at a really big greenhouse. It's very quiet. Distressingly sad. Ah! That's how we get round the black beam. <laughs> what was that? 
Oh, it was that. God, that sounded like something roaring then. I was like, oh. That's weird. What's the point of that little area? How strange. That looks like it's going to be an area where a character turns up at some point. Maybe. Yay, the music's back. I'm very pleased about that. God, this place is lush. There it is. Look at the background. The flowers and things. Yeah. The rancid... What are the rancid eggs for? What do they do? Oh, no! Yay! Ah, tiny warrior! Then you too come to test yourself against the traitorous tribe. The what? Okay, that's interesting. A deadly bunch they are that roost within these glades. I'd once have stayed well clear of them, but your actions have shown me the truth of it. We must face down our fears or be defeated by them. That's the spirit, Cloth. If we both make it through, we can swap stories of our adventures. I'd look forward to that. So would I. I like you. Stay alive, my friend. Whatever you seek in here, I'm sure the tribe won't look lightly on our intrusion. Oh dear. Is it another tribe like the wasps and the mantises down below? I bet it is. Yep. It's exactly what it is. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. Ooh, not nice. They look quite lethal, actually, so we're going to have to be very careful around here. Okay. Oh. Oh. So we can't get up there yet. Hmm. There's a lever that lead that brings that platform down. We're going to have to be careful here, I imagine. Yeah, there's going to be spikes or something down there. I guarantee it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh. Oh! They can throw off their sides as uh, throwing weapons. Eek. So the queen once presided here. That is interesting. Spikes! I knew it. What's this? Oh, it's just something to destroy. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. Following my own advice there. God, all of these wonderful little out-of-the-way areas. I just, oh, love it. The, the, the part of me that just adores adventure in video gaming just can't help but get excited by this stuff. Ooh, you're a pest, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Fall to bit. Oh, no! There are more, and they've sealed me in. Oh, this is going to go well. Oh, this is going very well. <gasps> oh dear. Oh, this is this is this is bad. Aha! Yes. Fall to my fungus. Okay. Ah, cornifers around here somewhere. And a bench, both of which would be a very welcome at this point. Very welcome. Cornifer! Where are you? It ah! I hear him. He's here somewhere. <laughs> I'm with uh, my compatriot Rowan on this. Uh, oh, hello! I, I love the idea of Cornifer being like this hyper-powered character. Have you heard of Hallow Nest's Queen? Apparently these gardens were once her retreat. Ah, right. Now some vicious types are crawling all over the place and the plants have grown wild. Yeah, I can see that. As inhospitable as it is, I've enjoyed my travels here. Care to see my efforts? Yes, I would, Cornifer. Thank you. You're a star. Thank you very much. There's a stag station at the heart of these gardens. I would have taken my rest there if someone hadn't gone and locked the door. Yeah, I know. How inconsiderate, eh? Yeah, I like Rowan's notion that Cornifer is like some hyper-powered being who just doesn't really care about very much. Um, that's how he... Maybe they could do some DLC where you play as Cornifer. That'd be great fun, showing you how he gets to all these places. He must have some conspicuous capacities. Look at these guys. Isn't this just the most intriguing place? So many discoveries waiting to be made. We're about to set off ourselves, though we can't seem to agree on which way to head. Caliph and Ferrer Orthop. Oh, it's led to something of an argument between us. We should really stop squabbling about such petty things. Left or right, which way is best? It should be a simple thing, yet we're always at odds. Hmm, can I open the way for them or something? 
Or do I just hit them with the dream nail? Oh! Oh no! That felt bad. That felt like it absorbed them or something. Or maybe it's just released them. I'm hoping it's just released them. I hope it hasn't hurt them. You know, that would be that would be unpleasant. Now where do we go? That's the way back to the bench, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So what else is there to explore around here? I mean, most of the way seem to be sealed off. Yeah, this is sealed off as well, look. So where can we go? Ooh. Uh, ah! That went well. As did that. Once more, onto the breach. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. I'm doing spectacularly here, I've got to say. I'm just showing absolute prowess with the platforming here. Right, I'm going to go back to the bench. Because um, I'm going to die if I don't. <laughs> yeah, this is... Um, magnificent stuff for me there, I've got to say. Truly magnificent platforming. I have no excuse. Um, I, there was a time when I used to play stuff like Super Metroid and Donkey Kong Country and Super Mario World religiously when that wouldn't have phased me in the slightest, but now at the age of nearing 37 that is not the case it's actually my birthday very soon actually now that i think about it 37th birthday interesting very interesting not quite sure what it means if anything age has always been slightly arbitrary to me i'll be honest it's never really been a big deal hmm, there is oh you oh you track me oh that's interesting they can track you through the play area. That's unusual. They actually leave the area that they're assigned to and track you. That's that's it's kind of fun. Hmm. Look at the background again. It's like an arboretum in the background. It's beautiful. Hmm. Well, there are certainly lots of things to do here. Maybe I will come back. To this area a little later. Oh, oh god, this is treacherous and a little scary. Ah, cripes! Oh, and they can they can actually throw their ranged weapons through the uh, the the scenery. Oh, that makes them very dangerous, actually. Some of the nastier enemies we've faced thus far. That's for damn sure. Not nice. Okay, so where can we go? Hmm. No, there are no, like, secret rooms or anything over here. Doesn't seem like it. Ah! Okay. Whoa. Hmm. Aha! Anything down here? No, it looks like there should be, but no. Oh god, I got hit twice there. By the same enemy. Doing very, very well, IEs. I'm <laughs> really not. Like, really not. <laughs> uh, is there anything through here? Anything we missed? That's what I'm looking for. Like, uh, any paths or anything that we missed. No, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> I say it all the time, but one of my favourite parts of this game are the, the vocalisations of the characters. I think they're just charming. My favourite thus far, I've got to say, the, the little miner um, loved her and the... Um, the dung protector. His his vocalizations were amazing. And Gorb, of course. How can I forget Gorb? Bow to Gorb. 
I almost don't want to go down there again. I've got a slight phobia of that area because of, well, for obvious reasons. But there is a way down there, and it looks like that's... Is that the only way to go? Looks like it, although... I'm not sure I want to go down there yet. Woo! The animation on the, the double jump with the wings is amazing. I love it. I could just keep doing that for fun, you know? I'm so enchanted by this game. I'm so enraptured by it. I, I, it's, it's one of the most charming games I've played for a, a, such a long time. And the fact that it evokes games of yore, you know, games of my youth, and yet still feels so fresh and so new. I mean, that's, that's very impressive. It's very impressive. Right. Let's have a bit of an explore around. I think we'll come back here a little later, maybe. Oof, bloody spikes. Everywhere, bloody spikes. Ow, thank you. And little spiky critters to go with them. Of course. Even spiky when they're dead! That would, you know, if you actually sprouted spikes when you died, that would make a mortician's job very, very, very treacherous, wouldn't it? I like the way as well it's sort of an adjunct to the uh, green path because that makes incredible sense it almost explains where the green path came from you know again there's another example of environmental storytelling going on there very clever very clever stuff aha little critter ah wonderful I am going to have to have a serious rejig of my uh, charms at some point just not yet. Aha! <laughs> Just for fun, you know. Oh, this area doesn't have a map. That's intriguing. That's because it... Oh, it's because it's part of the Fog Canyon and we don't have the map for Fog Canyon. Of course. Yet. I know where Cornifer is, I just can't reach him. As of yet, but I will. Nah. Scary. I could really do with that map, I'm telling you. Whoa. These things are absolutely lethal. The fact you can't even insulate yourself against them makes them very hard. Hmm. You need to be very careful of these big ones, because uh, it's worse killing them than just leaving them be. Okay. There must be somewhere we can go. Around here. I just have to think what the boss of this area is. I mean, these things look a little bit like Metroids. There may actually be a, a, a not terribly subtle reference going on there, given that this is a Metroidvania. Um, the original Metroid game is named after um, these alien creatures called Metroids that look very, 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 very like that, like jellyfish. Um, and they have these um, incredible genetic properties. They're sort of like a potential panacea for disease. They're like a genetic storehouse of incredible potential. Um, they're also, they, they suck energy from living things and then they can, they can either absorb it or they can transmit it to other living beings, which is kind of cool, isn't it? Alright, there's a way up here we haven't been yet. If you look, there's a little path, look, that we haven't explored yet. So we'll probably go and have a look up there. Hello! I love these creatures. Some of my favourites in the whole game. Love them. I love the fungal wastes anyway, they're a great area. So distinct, so full of character. Just like everything else in the game, really.
there are little touchstones in the in the soundtrack, just little things that remind me of other video games. There's a solemnity to the soundtrack that reminds me of certain old school RPGs, for example, and indeed of Super Metroid. Um, Super Metroid has this phenomenally solemn, dark soundtrack um, that's very resonant and papal sounding, despite it being a science fiction game. Really beautiful. I mean, if you. It stands up so well. If you can go and find the music to Brinstar, for example, which is one of the areas in Super Metroid, oh, it's, it's so good. It's so good. I can't even remember where I'm going, if I'm honest. I'm just having a wonder. Hmm. God, this area is so treacherous if you don't have these upgrades. Oh yeah, there was a charm here, wasn't there? I think I've been here before. This is part of Metroidvanias that I don't mind, I quite like, but some people don't like. Which is the backtracking, the sort of like trying to find your way through and you keep coming back to areas you've already done. I don't mind it, it's part of the experience insofar as I'm concerned. Um, a lot of people don't like it though. Ow, that went well. <laughs> what the? This board uh, bounds the twisting, scratching things. Their dead sire, once of honoured caste. Their sealed mother, but the common beast. No peace with them we make. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Again, a very poetic allusion to the wider background, to the myth, to the mythos of this game. Interesting. I think those epithets that it said are referring to the um, those three spirits that we've encountered. One of which I think we're going to meet very soon. Very soon. Yeah. Yeah, she's up there. Whatever she is. Huh? Love these walking mushrooms. They're so much fun. I'm so glad there's such a variety of enemies. I mean, it would have been so easy to make them all bugs, wouldn't it? To make them all different kinds of bugs. But no, you've got lots of different things, you know? There are, there are like maggots, there are worms, there are walking fungus creatures, butterflies, all sorts of things. Very cool. They look so peaceful. And then I come along and um, quite literally burst their bubbles. We're very slowly getting there. It's a long way, actually. There's a, The fungal wastes are much bigger than they initially seem to be. Despite the fact they are a transitional area, you know? You can get to most other areas in the game from the fungal wastes. Hmm. Oh, there's an artifact that we missed. We'll have to get that, definitely. Must have been in a bit of a rush the first time we came through. That's alright. Hey, there we go. What we got? A Wanderer's Journal, that's alright. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, that's very interesting. Sorry about what, I wonder? What great sin did you commit? Surely it can't have been that terrible. One wonders. Hmm. Oh yes, our strangely ambiguous little friend is up here, isn't he? Oh, hey, I love these guys. The big, the big bloated mushroom people are so much fun. Oh god, they're quite tough though. Oh, again, great vocalizations. <laughs> love him. Oh, look at the scattered bits everywhere. Ugh. 
Okay, what was I doing here? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know why I paused there for no reason. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so we need to go up here. Because there was an area that we couldn't traverse because it was um, a toxic pit. But now there, now we can. Now we can traverse these areas quite happily. So, yeah, this is going to be very interesting. Before we do, though, I'm just going to go and... Yeah, Geo. They also were hunting Geo down here and carked it. You know, that's a shame. Right, I'm going to go use the bench and talk to our pal over here. Oh, you're... Yeah, that's all they say. Geo, they were just seeking Geo. Hello! Why? Oh, that's kind of sad. Hello! What have you got to say? Hmm, the air has changed. I can smell something new. Dangerous things are drifting through here now. Are you scared? If you stay here, I won't protect you. Oh, I know. I'll make more and it'll give me more Geo. If someone comes by, they have to give me their Geo. If they have, if you have enough Geo, you become a king. When I get enough Geo, I'll become king. Hmm, interesting. Fragile greed. Fragile strength, that sounds good. Hmm, I'll have that. Why not? Item purchased, thank you. I'll have that, definitely. You're a sinister little guy, aren't you? Sorry about that, ladies and gents. My uh, my uh, microphone cut out for a moment there. I don't know quite why. Anywho. Oh! Oh! We've got another dream tree! Brilliant! Absolute brilliance. Wonderful. Boom. Boom. Yes. Oh, I love this. This is fun. This is quite a narrow area as well. So this is for this... Ow! For this kind of exercise, this is this is kind of fun. Yeah. This is a lot easier than many that we've done. When you consider like the one on the Howling Cliffs, which is really difficult. Love it. I wonder how long it took to do all of the vocalizations and whatnot in this game. I mean, they're not complex, obviously. It's not like being in a recording studio and reading lines or anything like that. But even so, there's a lot of them. Okay, have we done them all? No, we haven't done them all yet. Ah! No, we haven't. Not yet. Hmm. I wonder where the others could be. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe up here? Let's have a look. I mean, we'll know when it's done because all of these dream catcher symbols will disappear. And there's a particular sound that happens as well, and the tree transforms. We've got loads of this dream essence now. Loads of it. There we go. It's done. There we are. So much dream essence! Oh, another area of the fog canyon! Ooh, this is interesting. This has opened up the area a little bit. Very cool. Look at you little Metroid monsters. I'm glad they're not Metroids. Metroids in, uh, are so phenomenally aggressive. And I don't think the Hollow Knight has got the means to take them out either. <laughs> they're quite tough. Ooh. God, there's lots of areas to go. Lots of places to explore now. Then again, there always are, are there not? Hmm. Let's have a look through here. Ah. These things are so tricky to... Oh, uh, oh we're going to have to be careful. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 
That was bound to happen, wasn't it? Hmm. Oh! Oh, it's another one of those dead... Ow! Oh! oh! So those bubbles with the orange centers explode. That's good to know. Drained. Yeah, I can see that. These ones, they blow up. I have to be very careful here. Tired. Ooh. Ah, shit. Doing very well here. So, they're, they're layering in environmental hazards around here. We've got to be very, very careful. Right, I'm just going to go and check out some of the other areas before I go through there. There's so many areas to explore out here. I don't want to, um... I don't want to miss them. If I get trapped in a boss battle and die before I can explore them. So let's have a look. Look at all this! It's massive! There's so many... Ow! Oh, that went well. So many places to go now. I mean, these things act as though they're underwater, but they're clearly not. Hmm. It's a fascinating area, this one. It's certainly one of the more sort of mystical alien areas of the game. Oh, hello! Look at that temple! <gasps> ah! It's our friend! Doesn't this kingdom just abound with surprises? A building atop an acid lake. Yeah, it doesn't half. Despite the sight, I can't help but feel familiarity. Something stirs in my mind, though I can't tell yet what. I thought it my lust for discovery that led me here, but now there seems something else. This building beckons me. Hmm, I can feel it calling. Dare I head in? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, and look at the symbol. One of the big spirits is here. That's going to be a tricky area. There's going to be... Oh, shortcut. To where? I'm not sure. Oh, there's a... Oh! Oh, we're here! Oh, yes, this is brilliant. Oh, yeah, this is superb. So... So, now we've opened up a few of the shortcuts and things. That's very cool. That's very cool. Oh, I'm very tempted to go directly in there. But that is going to be a boss battle. There are going to be bosses in there. Who are you that leads me to this place? Mmm. How interesting. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so we've got another caterpillary thing. Ow! <laughs> God, I'm doing very well here. Very well. Hmm. Ow! God, we are doing phenomenally well here. Much of this area is so treacherous. Did you see that? That happens sometimes with some of these enemies. They give you, um... Dream Essence as well. I don't know what factor causes that. Oh. Dre- Ah, yes. Oh, oh, God. This is- This is dangerous. There's lots of explosives around.
<laughs> God, those big ones are re real pains in the backside. More than anything, they are environmental hazards. You've got to maneuver around them as much as you can. If you start killing lots of them at once... Oh, here we are. We're on the other side. Okay. Okie dokie. I hear me quirrel. Oh, Cornifer. Cornifer, not Quirrell. Hey! I haven't got to chart the world. What joy. If only a Zelda could share the thrill. If only, eh, man? If only. Oh, as odd as much of Hallowness can be, there's a whole new level of strangeness about these caves. You're not kidding, Cornifer. Did you see that dark gate below? It's quite unsettling to be near. I did my best to avoid it. Fortunate for me, I found another route in, though I did end up a little singed after wading through some acid. Yeah, okay. I can't. I haven't got enough geo. I'd love to, Cornifer. I'd love to, but I don't have enough. And these things don't give geo either. So we're going to have to maybe purchase that from Iselda a little later. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. Okay. Well, it looks like what we're going to have to do is go into the temple, doesn't it? That looks like the, uh, the obvious thing to do. Although there is another way up here to explore as well. Like, oh, this is a maze. Oh! <laughs> and it looks lethal as well. Look at all the explosive areas around here. Uh-oh. Well. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. That went very, very well, I feel. Well, my loves, when we come back, we'll explore that temple and whatever secrets it contains. Until then, bye-bye! Yeah.